Naked baby, why isn't the camera focusing? Ugh. Problems. <laughs> Technical difficulties, huh, Susie? Ah. You're a pretty girl. You're a good puppy. And it's not focusing. Susie, the camera does not like you. Guys, um, it's Teresa. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, I'm back. Um, as you can see, the backdrop is new because I'm in a new house. It's not in my house. I'm staying with my aunt um, until I can get back on my feet. Um, my goal is to eventually get back down to North Carolina. Um, but right now it's kind of hard with no income. I'm filing for disability for um, my bipolar and I go down on the 16th to do that. Um, but anyway, enough about me because <laughs> you guys don't want to hear about me. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, ways that you can save money or um, if you're struggling because um, you're on a budget and that how to optimize um, help that is out there for you because um, everybody needs help once in a while. Um, and there's no shame in that. Um, first off, like, I'm not saying that you should do these. I'm just saying, you know, there, there are options of doing stuff. Like, whether you do it or not, it's up to you. But I'm not saying that you have to do it. And I'm not saying that, um, like, it's not okay to do it. I'm just saying that, like, you know, sometimes you need help. And there's help out there that you may not know about. Um, one is to get on a budget with your electric and gas. Um, I know in Ohio it's called uh, PIP and um, HEAP for electric. Um, and it bases it on your budget and you pay like... A monthly bill um, that's based on your income for both the electric and gas. Um, PIP is the percentage of income and it's usually for like I said like your gas um, and they base it on what you make um, whether you get paid like monthly or bi-monthly or whatever it's basically based on your income so, um, your bills aren't that outrageous. It's just like a, um, I can't think of what I want to say, but, you know, it's like a budget, basically. That's what it is. Um, those are the options for your bills. Um, and then, like, I know a lot of people that work don't qualify for food stamps, but they still find it hard to um, get food. You can check your um, for local food pantries that help you get its free food. Like I know there's a couple of food pantries around us, like the one in town. You can go twice a month, um, and they're open. Um, Mondays and Thursdays and then there's ones around here that you can go once a month and and um, it, they base it on how many people are in your house is how much food that you'll get um, usually they give out really good um, food like sometimes I mean it's donated so you do have to check the produce and that sometimes depending on the pantry you go to but a lot of times they give out you know good food um, you can also clip coupons 
You can also email companies asking them. Usually sometimes companies will send you free um, item coupons um, if you reach out to them. Um, and sometimes they'll even send you swag too, like if you, if you ask them. Um, restaurants will do that too, like if you contact them and ask them if they have any coupons or, or swag. Um, and a lot of times if you email companies and ask them if they have any samples, they'll send you out some samples. Um, some sample sites are Social Nature and Pinch Me. Pinch Me is every month. Um, they send out samples in exchange for a review. Um, I'm thinking about making like another video of like all the stuff that you can get for free um, because the other video I did was kind of cringy and not really like very informative I don't think but I'm just starting on YouTube so I do get nervous when I do YouTube videos and so sometimes I ramble and I forget what I'm saying and blah blah <laughs> um, and there's apps that you can use to like get stuff or get rid of stuff um, like a lot of people sell stuff on Craigslist if you want, if you're interested in getting rid of stuff for free, or getting stuff for free, there, um, depending on where you are, there's an app called Buns, B-U-N-Z. Um, what you do is um, you post stuff that you want to get rid of, and you can trade with other people um, items, so that's completely free. Um, Freecycle.org, you can find... Um, free stuff on there in your area um, also the app Trash Nothing um, you can find free stuff in your area you can request stuff for free that you need or you can just search and see what there is for free on there um, that helps with being frugal um, there's controversy about this next but you can go dumpster diving, um, depending on where you are, it is legal. Um, I watch people on YouTube and they get some really cool stuff from there, it depends on your view on that. Um, I personally don't do it because I would be afraid to go dumpster diving. <laughs> I'm, a ch I'm a huge chicken when it comes to trying stuff, something new. Um, but people do do that um like I said couponing um that's basically all I got um and try to stick to a budget like um instead of going out to eat all the time um find a way there's on Pinterest there's recipes of copycat like stuff from Burger King and Taco Bell and Olive Garden and Red Lobster. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that you can make at home that's probably going to be cheaper instead of going out all the time. Um, when you're grocery shopping, try to do, like, a weekly budget and meal prep. Um, I'm really bad at meal prepping, but um, it, I used to do it and it does save time. And it um, does save money, too. Um, there's stuff that you can qualify, like go to your local Salvation Army, and they have clothes that you can get for free if you need clothes. Um, sometimes they give out food if you need food. Um, you know, you can util utilize that. Um, instead of buying something new from Walmart, try to go thrift shopping to see if you can find it. Um, in thrift stores, like Goodwill, or like your, depending on what you have. Sorry, my camera cut off because it was the size limit of the video. Um, you know, stuff like that. Try to reach out to your community. Um, for produce, grow your own garden. I know that if you get food stamps, you can get, um, veggie plants and herb plants on your food stamps. 
um, because they grow food, so they accept it. Um, sometimes they have free dinners at the memorial buildings or whatever, if you have one. Um, it's just, you know, stuff is there. You just have to utilize it. You have to reach out and, like, do research and see what's available for you. And, um, you know, when I get in coming back up on my feet, I'm going to start setting limits and budgets and stuff like that. And I don't see any harm in that. Okay, so this is a pretty long video. Um, and I'm going to end it with that. But if you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.